Josh and Caleb. guys and welcome back to the channel last week's video was a very cool one we went to a church yard sale that we were told about from a lady at the, our new goodwill so that was awesome wearing my three caballero shirt probably singing the song now but uh we are going to continue well like i said last video uh, FYA is supposedly having a 75% off clearance sale so I'm hoping that they will continue have some stuff to donate you can kind of see that there so we're going to be dropping at that goodwill hitting up FYA hopefully they still have that sale going and I need to go to Walmart because two Walking Dead shows have been released. But Walmart's weird about their releases. Uh, if you go the day it's supposed to drop, it won't be there. Unless it's like a kid's title or... They might have movies, but TV shows, you gotta wait like three weeks after it's released to grab it. So it has been like three weeks since those have been released, so hopefully Walmart has those. But alright, that's enough talking. Let's get into it. Let's hit up FYE. Well, first we're going to Goodwill, because I have to drop those off. Then FYE, the clearance sale. Let's do it. We have donated our VHS and we have made it to Goodwill. Not expecting to find much, but you never know. Let's go inside. Found, found a couple things. A uh, couple things for Caleb as well. We're going to take a look at it right now. Alright, hopefully the AC is not loud. <laughs> it is a uh, little hot. Uh, there, that's, I mean, that's about the same anyway. Uh, upgrading Field of Dreams. That's going to get right in the way. I know. There. <laughs> Field of Dreams uh, did not have easy virtue. Uh, Jessica Bill, that's cool. Did not have the player. This is all about uh, making movies and stuff. He's a movie executive. That is cool. Then something called Duma. Never heard of that. And Josh Kirby, Tom Warriors, human, human pets. <laughs> I do not know anything about that. It was half, half, some of these were half off. Grab this Doris Day movie called Caprice for Caleb. He needed that. And then I got What I Like About You, Season 1, Amanda Bonds. That is really cool. I had this, I want to say I had this in my collection at one point. I know I've seen it. Maybe I didn't have it, I don't know. No, I think I had it, I gave it to Caleb, because he's a man that binds. Anyway, back in the collection for a, a dollar something. Then the American Carol, it's a spoof movie, I believe. Yeah, I believe it's a spoof. This was also half off, Red was half off. Uh, Mozart and the Whale grabbed it because it was half off and Josh Hartnett's in it. Team Josh. <laughs> then uh, Blue Jasmine, a Woody Allen film. 
his early his newer stuff i'm not a huge fan of i really enjoy all of his stuff in like the 90s early 2000s but anyway picked it up uh upgrading payback this being the director's cut straight up the director's cut so that's cool have that on vhs then something called swing shift I don't know if this is for me or for Caleb. I think it's for Caleb. But I definitely want to watch it. So I grabbed a few things for Caleb and some stuff for me. Alright, we're going to go to F. White. Alright, we are at the Galleria. Go inside to F. White. Hopefully they're having a sale. Not sure it's supposed to be nationwide. So let's go in. She said this store is independent from the others, so that's why they're not having the sale. Like all the FYs nationwide are having a 75% off sale. But anyway, they are having that for the pops, but not the movies. But I didn't see any pops at once, so did still manage to find some cool shows for $30 each for a complete series, so we're going to take a look at those right now. Still found some cool stuff. Starting with the sweet Nightmare Before Christmas shirt. How, that is so cool. Lug, shock, and barrel on there. With Dr. Finkelstein and Jack and Sally and Zero. Really cool. This was 20 bucks. It's probably the coolest Nightmare Before Christmas shirt I've ever seen. Then a documentary, Comic-Con Episode 4 of Fans Hope. This is a documentary about Comic-Cons directed by Merg Morgan Spurlock. He directed Super Size Me, so I enjoy his documentaries. Then Rookie of the Year, it says 6 but only rang up as $3, so happy about that. What is the receipt? I'm curious now. Yeah, $3 off, and the Comic-Con was only $0.50, cents, so that was a dollar off of that one, and then this was only $3. I did not have this movie. I thought I at least had on VHS, but looked it up, did not. Directed by Daniel Stern. That's cool. Alright, then I got some complete series, all for $30 each. They say $40, but they all rang up as $32 each. So we have Sabrina, the Teenage Witch, the complete series. Can okay, just grab this, I believe. I was on the lookout for it. That is cool. Then Beauty and the Beast, the complete series. Sorry if we're blown out here. I can't really see because of the sun. It is a little. Sorry about the glare. There we go. Let's show this one again. <laughs> Little Bear. Okay. That'll be the screenshot. <laughs> Beauty and the Beast. Linda Hamilton. Ron Perlman. I remember watching this. As a kid when it was on TV. So that is cool. And then this says. Uh, I don't know what I did with this thing. Yeah. It says 65. But it rang up as 35. So, <laughs> so 30 bucks on this. Rugrats, the complete series. This is really cool. I didn't even know they released the complete series. Because Nickelodeon's weird about 
certain shows they don't release the complete series like this they were releasing one season at a time so that is cool i'm glad they released the complete series love this show grew up with obviously nickelodeon anything nickelodeon cartoon network from the 90s slash early 2000s i watched <laughs> So this is one of the ones I grew up on. So that is cool. All right. So didn't have the 75% off sale, but still some good deals on complete series. Cause though uh, I've seen Beauty and the Beast way back at Walmart. It was like 50 something dollars. So $30 each for a series, a cool shirt. All right, we are going to go to Walmart because I'm hoping they have the Walking Dead shows that I need. Hopefully they are out and stuff. All right, we are at Walmart. Uh, not expecting to find a whole lot. Of course, every time I say that, I spend like 30 bucks. <laughs> success they had both Walking Dead series and they were both cheaper than I thought they would be and grabbed a couple bags full so we're going to take a look at everything I grabbed right now all right got some cool things hopefully I can see throughout because that's oh that's a bad idea <laughs> anyway uh Hopefully that's not too shadowy. It is very bright, so bear with me. Grabbed the Divergent series. Did, I've, no, I've seen the first one, but I don't think I had... Well, I think I had the first one, but it was like a steelbook, and Caleb wanted that one, so... Anyway, grabbed that for six books, I believe. Brightburn. Uh, James Gunn produced this. Uh, Caleb says it's really good, so I look forward to that. Swamp Thing, the complete series. This was $15, so I would jump on that. Then I grabbed this because I looked at the back and it looked really good. Eight bucks, I believe. Shadow in the Clouds, Chloe Grace Moretz. Uh, hit girl <laughs> then spiral uh, I have seen this one I enjoyed it uh, nothing special uh, to me jigsaw is a little bit better but still pretty cool they go a whole new direction but if if you watch movies a lot you see the ending coming way before you, the twist way before like 10 minutes in i'm like oh it's that guy so you know kind of kind of disappointing but visually is great visually <laughs> and they were going for like a a seven kind of vibe about serial killers instead of going there wasn't that many traps in this one which I was okay with. Anyway, <laughs> moving on. Uh, finally grabbing the new Mortal Kombat movie. That was like $14. Uh, something called Metro. Uh, look cool. I looked at the back. Looks interesting. Plus it was only $3. So, <laughs> had to grab that. Finally grabbing Parasite. That was $5. Best Picture winner. Cabe says it's really good. It's a foreign film. 
another best picture winner green book I don't really know anything about was three bucks that is the main reason I mean I have heard things about uh, I believe they both won yeah Mahersha Ali won for this role then the complete series of the tales of the gold monkey it's kind of like Indiana Jones I remember I believe I remember this show could be think of a completely different show but that was only eight bucks for a complete series that's a good deal then I'm going to end with Walking Dead but uh, grabbed Hercules and Xena that might be the screenshot for today <laughs> got a couple contenders but uh, Hercules, uh, the people that worked on Lord of the Rings worked on this before. Uh, I can't remember the company's name. It come to me. Man, you'd think I would know. But uh, Kevin Sorbo talked about it, how they've, how they moved on to Lord of the Rings after this show. Filmed in New Zealand. That is really cool. Xena cameos in this show and then got her own show. Uh, Xena, Princess Warrior. Probably like this show a little bit more than Hercules. <laughs> there was so much cool action in this show. Remember watching it as a kid. So that is really neat. Look forward to that. In The Walking Dead, Road Beyond, been trying to get this for a while, uh, don't really know what it's about, uh, it's just a new series that they're doing, uh, so that's cool, look forward to that, it might be like Fear the Walking Dead, where it takes a couple seasons to really figure out what they're doing, and then The Walking Dead Season 10, which is actually Part 2 of Season 10, because they had to stop because of the pandemic, so they didn't put Part 2, but <laughs> it is definitely Part 2. I already have the first part of this, and then the final season is coming out right there, Part 1. So look forward to checking that out. Kind of, kind of bittersweet it's going to end. The, the episodes are getting, you know, not as good in this show. But uh, they are a couple, a few of the characters they've introduced I actually really love. Uh, the whole them wearing... Uh, zombie faces to hide in the crowd I love that is it the whispers yeah I believe that's what they're called so that old storyline I love I think people hated Negan and that his story still continued after they almost killed him spoiler alert <laughs> people hated that they just want the whole storyline to end and it's still continuing Anyway, this was the main thing I was going for, so that is cool. Alright, that's going to do it for today's video. Just a random Goodwill FA Walmart trip. Uh, they did, FA did not have the sale, but that's okay. Found some cool complete series for $30. Oh, those were $30 too, Hercules and Xena. Alright, that is going to do it. I'm Josh. New videos coming as always. And until then, I don't see you out thrifting or at Walt Disney World. I'll see. Wait, yeah. Thrifting or Walt Disney World. I'll see you at the movies. Bye. It's been a long day.